Hey everyone, it's Sarah the Registered Nurse RN .com, and I'm going to go over the EKG waveform. So first part is the P wave. This represents atrial depolarization. Then we have a flat line called the PR segment, and this is the delay created by the AV node. It's at the end of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex. Then we have the QRS complex, and this represents ventricular depolarization, followed by another flat line called the ST segment, and this represents the completion of ventricular depolarization and beginning of ventricular repolarization. Then we have the T wave, which represents ventricular repolarization. We also measure intervals within this. We have the PR interval, which starts at the beginning of the P wave to the, and it ends at the beginning of the QRS. And this represents the time it takes for signals to go from the atria to the AV node. Then we have the QT interval, which starts at the beginning of the QRS and ends at the end of the T wave. And this is the time it takes for electrical signals to cause the ventricles to contract and rest.